Okay. All right, hey everybody, we're gonna show you how to like turn, uh, make, build little atoms on like a game board made on a piece of notebook paper with some tokens and some dice. And we've got Susan and Jania here who are gonna expertly show you how to create an atom from scratch. All right, ladies, what we got going on here? All right, first you need to get your loose leaf paper. Then you need to draw one circle in the middle for your protons and neutrons. Then you need to draw four outer circles for your electrons. That's why we have the N1, N2, N3, N4. Beautiful. That's awesome. And the P and the N, what do those stand for again? Proton and neutron. Awesome. Okay, so now you've got like a 13 AL up here. What are you saying with that? Oh, when you roll the dice, I rolled a 13. So after you roll your number, you look at your periodic table and you'll find the atomic number? Yeah. The nice. atomic number. <laughs> and since I wrote 13, of course, I found 13, and it was aluminum. Nicely done. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's show our friends how to build aluminum then on our game board. Okay, first, you need to put your protons and neutrons. And how are you going to show those? With the dice. Okay. So, my protons is 13. All right, nicely done. So, I show 13. And my neutrons is 14. Okay, so you're using those two different dice to show the 14. I like that. Yes. Now, how'd you get 14 out of um, out of the periodic table? Okay, let's show them that periodic table real quick. Let's see how to do that. So you have your 13 protons. That's your atomic number. And then when you round that atomic weight uh, to 26.98, you round it to like 27 then that's your mass of your aluminum, your average mass of an aluminum, right? Yes. So then when you have 13 plus 14, that will give you that 27. And so that's how you, that's how you got that, right? Yes. Yeah, of All right, course. Nice. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so let's set up those electrons then. How many electrons are we gonna now, need? Now, an electron for your first circle. You're gonna have 13 electrons in total. Nice. Good. So your first circle, you're gonna need two. Okay. So you're gonna put them in there. How come we can't put all 13 right in there? Because that's tacky and it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's not how many goes on the first circle. It's it's a certain amount of electrons each circle can take. Oh, okay. Nice. So the first one takes two. Okay. <laughs> nice. The second circle is gonna be eight. And the third one will take three. How come uh, we can't do more than three? Because it cannot be more than 13. Oh, because aluminum's gonna have yeah. 13 total, and so when we add up our two, our eight, and three more, we'll get 13. Yes. yes. All right, that's a great job. Thank you, ladies, for helping us out. I know everybody's gonna be real appreciative of that, so thank you so much. Thank you all for watching, and I hope now you get to have some fun creating some atoms. 